back here. It is May 20th, 2015. I am having VSG on May 25th, 2015. Um, this video is about goals. My stepdad recently had asked me, what are you going to do when you lose 100 pounds? And I didn't know. I don't think about what I'm going to do once I lose it. It seems like such a far off future and it's never been quite a realistic, obtainable goal um, to lose 100 pounds and now it is. So I was just thinking, not what am I going to do when I lose 100 pounds, but what do I want to accomplish along the way? So I wrote down a list of goals that I want to have bef and to share with you all before the surgery. And since I have my surgery in five days, which is technically like four days now because it's almost midnight, um, I'm running out of time to share them with you beforehand. So here is a list of my goals. One, have the surgery because I'm getting freaked out a little bit. I'm, I'm keep scaring myself into not having the surgery, but I know that it's good. One of the videos I watched, um, she said, you know, she got there and she was like, no, I can't do this. Like, sorry, I wasted your time. And I don't want to be like that, but I feel like I'm going to be like that. So, um, the first initial goal is to actually get the surgery and, you know, learn how to eat. But once I have the surgery done, what are some attainable goals? So number one or two is, um, I have a pair of jeans that I wore for about two to three weeks last summer when I had gotten down to about 270. Um, I wasn't able to wear them very long and then I gained my weight back and you know, you, you pull and they can't quite close and you think, okay, I'm going to get the weight off, but then that doesn't happen and instead what happens is I gained all my weight back. So I'm going to show you the jeans that I want to fit into. These are them. Okay. They're skinny jeans. They have nice pockets in the back. Um, they are a size 20 and I can wear some size 20s now, but they're a small size 20 and they don't have a lot of stretch. They're real denim. So I want to be able to be a real size 20 um, and fit those jeans. And of course, my goal is to not be able to fit those jeans because I'm going to be so small in them. Um, which brings me to my next goal would be to get to 250 pounds. And it seems strange to celebrate 250 pounds. I mean, it even seems strange to celebrate that I'm going to be 300 pounds because the first time I reached 250, I panicked and freaked out. But getting to 250 now and thinking that it won't ever come back seems like such an accomplishment. And when you're going down, it's success. So I would definitely like to be 250 pounds. I feel like that's a nice number. Um... And then my next goal would be to fit into my wedding dress. And I do have my wedding dress off to the side, but I thought it's way too big to like try to fit it into the camera and it's not like I can put it on, but I hope that I will have a video where I do put it on. But I just grabbed some pictures. This is me in my wedding dress with my best friend. Um, and I was like 2.30 here. And here's another picture. I have to peek over to make sure that you can see this. Um, I think the fact that I can't fit into my wedding dress is a big deal to me because that's who my husband married. I mean, he, he married me after we had our first son and I was up because of that. But I am so far gone from being that size to be able to fit into my wedding dress now which seems like a dream come true um and i'd like just to wear it again and um and then put it back into storage hopefully my daughter might never be my size to wear it but maybe she'll want to wear it and alter it and i don't know who knows 
And um, so then I was 2.30, but who knows? I mean, I've been heavier. I Yesterday was my eight-year wedding anniversary, and so I've been heavier than that for about eight years. So, oh, my nose itches. Um, my body's probably changed. When I lose the weight, who knows if I'm in the 2.30s, but I might have extra skin. So I don't know how well it's going to fit on me. I don't need to wear it anywhere, but I don't know what size or the weight that I will be when I um, fit into it again, but I would like to. And then my next goal would to be 199.9. Um, when I had my son, the lowest I ever got to was 203. And I remember thinking and saying publicly that, uh, you know, I only had four more, go four more pounds to get into the 100s. Well, then that never happened. And like my regular routine in the past eight years, nine years that I've been obese is that I gained all my weight back. So to get to 199.9, I haven't been in there since, since nine years. That would be huge for me, um, to be in the wonderful wonderland. And then my ultimate goal weight is 170. I was got, when I got pregnant with my son, I was 170, and I feel like that's a healthy weight for me. I see myself being okay with getting down to about 150. I don't think that I would want to get much less than that because I have a large bone structure, but I wouldn't mind being 150, obviously. I mean, that would be, that would be cool. Uh, so those are my goals. I wonder what are some of your goals? If you're pre-op or if, you know, you had a recent surgery or, I mean, any anywhere in your journey, what are some of your goals? Maybe you can share them with me and we can celebrate them together. Um, I hope that in not too long of time, I will be wearing those jeans in one of my videos. And I hope not long after that, I'll be saying that I'm 250. Um, today I weighed in at 301.4. I can't remember what my last video was, but it was 301 point something. I don't know if it was 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. I've been doing that for about a week. So that's frustrating because I would like to be lower than 300 pounds by surgery date, but that's my own personal goal. And I now have like about four days to do it, but I do have a three day liquid diet to go on. So I'm hoping that maybe that'll push me right over the edge. So that even if I'm 299, 298, that um, I can I can do it. Just to say, you know what, I set out a goal and I did it. But if I don't, and I'm 301 when I have my surgery, that's fine. It's all personal. Um, well, again, if you have any goals, please let me know. And I appreciate you watching this video. I hope that you watched my last video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'd love you to follow along with my journey, and um, I'm looking forward to having you guys see less of me as you see more of me. So, okay, talk to you in about a week. Bye.